Hey everyone, this is Michael Manning and welcome to the T4 Show. And in today's video, I want to give you a one week update on my experience using the Mio Fuse. And in short, it's just been a wonderful experience using this uh, for my heart rate training using DDP Yoga, uh, my regular gym workouts as well, and also as an activity tracker. It's been very comfortable. Um, I've worn this thing pretty much all day, every day since Tuesday. I tried it out and tested it Monday for uh, the unboxing video that I did Monday night, uh, but I've been using it ever since then, and it's really, really worked out well. I'll say this right now, the battery life is pretty incredible. I wanna bring up the app here. I have two bars, actually three bars left, after using it every day since Tuesday, uh, when it was fully charged. So I'm not sure if that's just an aberration or if I'm just not using it. I'm using it a lot for workouts. So two workouts a day using the heart rate monitoring, and I would figure that would tax the battery. But right now, it seems like I can go a few more days like I'm going now without charging it. So that's pretty cool right there. Also, uh, it's logged my workouts, at least most of them. There was one that failed, and it didn't uh, really log it. So sync also has been a little bit slow. Those are about the only two negatives I can think of uh, really with that. Uh, using lots of other apps like the iCardio app, also the Polar Beat app, synced up pretty well to that. The Rock My Run app, it's worked beautifully with that. So you don't even have to use the Mio Go app, which is still kind of limited when it comes to this device. When you're using the Mio Alpha and Alpha 2, however, this app is a little bit more functional. But the Mio Fuse, enables you to pretty much, uh, and Mio as a company, enable you to use another health app or fitness tracking app uh, without having to worry. So I really like it, $149.99 for the Mio Fuse. And even using it with the Mio Go app gives me a great idea of how to uh, track my workouts, but you don't need to use it. I would use the Mio Fuse right now with the DigiFit iCardio app or even the DDP Yoga app, which is coming later on this year. It works great with that and I'm really enjoying it. So I'd pick it up. I recommend it after seven days. This thing has surpassed my Rhythm Plus and my Polar H7. Obviously the H7 is a chest strap, uh, but this thing I can wear also as a tracker all day. Uh, no sleep tracking, one, one thing, one caveat right there, no sleep tracking, but that's fine because it really isn't too big of a deal. One big bonus that I didn't mention in the unboxing video, it's waterproof. So if you're a swimmer, you can actually track your activity uh, swimming or being underwater or even just wearing it in the pool uh, just basically for casual stuff. Uh, the only big con is something that doesn't even advertise anyway, and that's notifications like with the Pebble or the upcoming Apple, Apple Watch. Uh, but I have to say for $150, I believe I'm going to keep it. I think it's a really strongly recommended by, especially if you are into a lot of activity tracking, uh, definitely heart rate monitoring. This thing has been spot on and that's about it. Can't recommend it enough. The Mio Fuse, $149.99 on amazon.com. But for now, for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you and best of luck on your future distance, step, calories, time, <laughs> sorry, endeavors.